Hi Adobe Plush Player viewers, this is Merle Strom. This is in response to your request that I post a new video on Adobe Plush Player where sites needing to run Flash can no longer be added to its allow list through the Chrome settings after the recent 10th year anniversary Google Chrome update version 69 on September 4, 2018. From the looks of it, Google doesn't want its browser users to use Flash anymore. We can't really blame Google for that, having spent years trying to secure Flash for its users. They are not alone in this campaign. According to PCMag on its September 4, 2018 article, all the major browsers now ask permission before running Flash content. We will be seeing less and less of Adobe Flash Player as it gets closer to its demise in December 2020. By the way, if you haven't checked yet, the latest Chrome update version 70 was released this October. There is only one way of allowing sites to run Flash at this time. If you see people advertising their 800 number in the comments for a fix in any of the Flash Player how-to videos that's not even theirs, don't fall for it. It is not a free service. It's more a scam than anything. When you visit a site that requires Flash to run, you will have to click on the Adobe Flash Player icon on the website itself to enable it. A dialog box will pop up at the left corner of the browser. Click Allow to enable the content to play. Before you allow a site to run Flash, make sure that it is a trusted website. The next clip was taken from my third Adobe Flash Player how-to video entitled 2018 Adobe Flash Player Latest Fix What to Do if it says Ask First on Settings. This will show you how to enable Flash Player directly at the site to play its content. Let me show you another way of enabling the Flash Player from within a website needing to run Flash. This is a video streaming website by CNN. In some cases, like this one, the streaming screen is white with a Flash Player symbol or icon in the middle when Flash is blocked. All you need to do is click on the icon to enable Flash. A dialog box will open right below the web address with the option to click Allow and you're all set. So we, for sure, we do here. We do flamenco, we do tapas, and we do siesta. As a reminder, according to Chrome, your Flash settings will be kept until you quit Chrome. I went back to StreamFair.com to see if I have to re-enable the Flash player. In this site, I didn't have to. Shall we begin? We are on a journey. It's a revolution. It's our world. We're making something really special. Hope this video answers your questions on how to enable the Adobe Flash Player on websites needing to run it to play its content. If you have concerns, just comment below and I'll do my best to find a resolution in relation to the topic. 
If you like this video, please click on the like button down below. For more related videos, please click on the links on the right side of this screen. If you haven't done so and would like to subscribe, please do so before leaving my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.